So good morning, class eight children. Uh, today we are going to start with chapter number sixteen, light. Already we have discussed the misunderstood words of this chapter, and even I had posted on ERP the misunderstood words. If any of the word is still not clear to you, you can continue with it, or you can see from there only. So first of all, just think of light. It's very common word which we are using. Switch on the light. Switch off the light. Switch on or off the light. And things are visible only when we see the things in the light. Okay. So, and uh, we are having a sense organ eye. With the help of that, we can see the different things around us. So, what makes the things visible? How we can see the different things? Is it the light only, or is it the eye only? So let's start first of all. That what makes a thing visible? How we can see the different things which are in our surroundings? So let's start this chapter. First of all, let's continue with what makes things visible. And already we had, uh, I had told you the outlook of the chapter. That what we are going to study in this chapter is that uh, reflection, which is very very important word of this chapter. of light already we have read this word in your class 6 and 7 what is reflection now but uh, in class 8 this word has been elaborated we are going to study about the laws of reflection the types of reflection so all these things and uh, multiple concept of multiple reflection okay and uh, on the base of multiple reflection there is an instrument which is known as kaleidoscope so we'll study about kaleidoscope and the structure of human eye we'll going to study and next we will study about the last braille system how visually challenged people study so all that things we are going to study in this chapter so uh, let's start anshika agarwal reading 16.1 what makes things visible how we can see the things kindly switch on your cameras children ivanshi arin singh yes continue Have you ever thought how we see various objects? You may say that I see the object, but can you see an object in the dark? It means that I alone cannot see any object. It is only when light from an object enters our eyes that we see the object. The light may have been emitted by the object or may have been reflected by it. You have learned in class seven that a polished or a shiny surface can act as a mirror. A mirror changes the direction of light that falls on it. Can you tell in which direction the light falling on a surface will be reflected? Okay, let us find so out. So I think you have got the answer of this question. That what makes a thing visible? It is only when light from an object enter into our eyes, then we are able to see the object. That does not matter. The light may it be may it will be emitted by the object or may be. reflected by the object so anything can be there either reflection or either the emission can be there okay. now children what let's study first of all the laws of reflection what does the laws of reflection says in activity 16.1 what has been taken here a just a piece of a mirror has been taken a piece of the mirror has been taken and a laser light is thrown on the mirror what happens we can see such kind of path when the light is falling on something like uh, this mirror it comes back okay so we have to study that in what way the light is coming back so bouncing back you know when the light strikes on any of the reflecting surface what happens it comes back this is known as a reflection means bouncing back of light is known as reflection so this is very quite common that uh, reflection is known as a bouncing back of light okay and when the light strike the mirror it comes back it comes back now we have to see in which direction it comes back so for that we need to study the laws of reflection also so let's continue with it laws of reflection kya cheez hai so children here are two laws of reflection first law of reflection for that first of all we need to study that how light gets reflected so children here see i have taken a mirror and this surface of a mirror is painted one surface of the mirror is painted i am taking only one ray of light 
suppose this is one ray of light it is falling on the mirror and i think you have read already the light which is falling on the mirror it's known as which ray which ray it is non incident yes an incident ray it is an incident ray the ray which is falling on the surface or any polishing surface or any reflecting surface is known as a ray now what happens when the ray falls on this mirror it gets reflected children check the um, it is reflected yes it gets reflected and that ray is known as a reflected ray this is known as reflected ray you can check the direction of arrows agar maine ye incident ray lagayi hai to incident ray ka arrow is taraf hai theek hai when it comes back after striking the arrow is in this side so this is your incident ray and reflected ray now what happens here we are having a point isko hum koi bhi point ko o point naam de dete hain origin now draw a perpendicular at this point perpendicular you know and in the language of science i am saying that draw normal 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 means perpendicular i had drawn straight line i have drawn ab dekho perpendicular jab maine draw kiya to where two angles are there ek angle kon kon sa ban raha hai this normal and reflected ray is forming an angle dekho ye angle kis kis ke beech mein ban raha hai normal and reflected ray is angle ko main keh rahi hu angle of reflection kindly concentrate in higher classes you will be studying the same concept so just take care of it dhyan se samajhna agar nahi samajh aayega to you may ask again okay next idhar wala jo angle hai wo kis kis ke beech mein ban raha hai normal and tell me incident ray okay incident, incident ray and normal to so, is angle ko humne naam de diya small i se main isko donate kar rahi hu and it is known as angle of incidence got it so here we are having two angles and two rays one ray is a incident ray other is a reflected ray children do not get confused many of the children get confused in ray and angle jahan pe main angle bol rahi hu angle is this thing angle you know how it is made it is made by two lines at any of the angle so this is i is known as angle of incidence and r is known as angle of reflection so first law of reflection what does it say first law says angle i is equal to angle r this is our first law of reflection angle i is equal to angle r this is our first law of reflection and what is the second law of reflection second law of reflection says that these three things children see here which three things incident ray reflected ray and normal these three things lie in the same plane okay these three things are lie in the are lying in the same plane that is known as a second law of reflection so just take care of it it's very very important if you have not understood kindly let me know i'll explain again you have to draw the diagram for this the angle of this diagram 16.3 yes ma'am please explain law to law second law of reflection says that these three things kon kon se it is written in your book even incident ray reflected ray and normal they all lie in the same plane so children uh, underline here the angle of incident is always equal to the angle of reflection this is known as a first law of reflection kindly mark it first law of reflection it is known as theek hai uske baad next pe agar hum aate hain to here it is written the second law the incident ray the normal at a point and point of incidence and reflected ray all lie in the same plane kindly underline it this is another law of reflection so here we are going to discuss the two laws of reflection one law second and law first first and second laws of reflection so you know one thing more we have discussed earlier that uh what type of image is formed in plane mirror 
what type of image is formed in the plane mirror so let's recall tell me raise your hand who knows what type of image is formed in the plane mirror daily you stand in front of the mirror what type of images are formed kindly let me know tell me quickly beta is it upside down is it of Man, virtual type? okay Man, first virtual, direct, virtual yeah. image is formed yeah. second is erect image is formed means as you are it looks like same of same size it is same size bhi hota hai same size yes. erect hai aur bataiye same Man, size same shame uh, same shape same color all things are same theek hai aur kaise kya form hota hai virtual images laterally inversion when you raise your left hand it appears to be raised as right hand so this type of images are formed in the plane mirror children already you have read about the plane mirror as well as for the spherical mirrors okay now next topic we are going to study is types of reflection we are having two types of reflection one is regular and other is irregular irregular or we can say diffuse reflection okay regular or irregular or diffuse reflection we say children that depends reflection to whether the surface is rough or whether the surface is plane reflection takes place from all the surfaces okay every from everywhere the reflection takes place so as you know the sun's light it falls on each one of the place either it is rough or either it is a plane surface and see the how light reaches to our home first of all let's st study okay that what type of uh, what do you mean by regular and irregular reflection okay neha jain continue continue reading when all the parallel lines yahan se when all the parallel rays when all the parallel rays reflected from a rough or irregular surface are not parallel the reflection is known as diffuse or irregular reflection remember that the diffuse reflection is not due to the failure of the laws of reflection it is caused by the irregularities in the reflecting surface like that of a cardboard on the other hand reflection from a smooth surface like that of a mirror is called re regular regular reflection okay images so are formed by regular reflection okay children so here is a difference the question may be there to differentiate between the regular and irregular reflection so kindly mark the difference so uh, you can see in the diagram also in diagram it is very very clear 16.7 diagram is for irregular reflection see children the surface is rough in 16.7 figure what is there the surface is rough surface and the black color ye dekho black color ki jo rays hain that are coming from the source of light any source of the light these are the rays coming from the source of the light and when these rays fall on the rough surface what happen to the that rays that rays go in different direction dekho ye blue color ki jo rays hain they go in different directions koi idhar ja rahi hai koi udhar ja rahi hai why they are going in different directions can you tell why they are going in different directions because the surface is what type of surface it is irregular surface irregular surface irregular. or rough surface is there that's why after reflection the light is going in different directions not in a single direction am i clear such type of reflection is known as a diffused reflection or we can say irregular reflection it is okay next is a regular reflection kya matlab hai regular reflection ka what do you mean by the regular reflection what do you mean by regular reflection directly the reflection from the smooth surface See, sixteen point eight figure. When the light falls on the surface, they go black color. Ki rays, they are falling, and light travels in a straight line always. When they fall on the smooth or highly polished surface, what happens? All the rays after reflection goes back in 
one direction able to see see in this figure 16.8 all the blue colored lines means after reflection all the lines are going in the in one direction one particular direction all the rays are going okay so whenever the Easy question will be there yes beta ma'am uh, in 16.7 both laws are not applicable so uh, how it is a reflection yes so children there i'm just telling you here is the different difference between the surfaces only rest no difference is there okay difference in the surface is there only and laws of reflection do uh, you know that does not it does not get failed already it is written that diffused reflection is not due, due to the failure of the reflection this is only due to the difference in the surfaces the same thing children i was just telling you for sunlight hai sunlight is there and sunlight you know that travels in a straight line light always travels in a straight line. and when that light falls sunlight fall everywhere it falls on the plain surface it falls on the mountains it falls on the trees each and everywhere on the earth the sunlight fall and up aisa to nahi hai ki sari ki sari jo surface hai that is our plain surface is it like that no no the light falls on everywhere on each and every irregular surfaces after that what happen as soon as the light falls then regular and irregular reflection takes place if it falls on the irregular surfaces then it goes in the different direction and if it falls in the smoother surface or a plane surface then it goes back it gets reflected reflection to dekho dono case mein hoga beta reflection is taking place in six, this uh, diffused or the regular reflection hai to ye dono cases mein hai but it depends कि कौन सा किस में हो रहा है इसमें हमारे पास डिफ्यूज रिफ्लेक्शन है इसमें हमारे पास रेगुलर रिफ्लेक्शन है गॉट इट दिस इज अ डिफरेंस ओनली एंड चिल्ड्रन यू मस्ट हैव सीन दैट लाइट एंटर्स इनटू आवर होम फ्रॉम अच्छा ये बताइए आप आपके घर में लाइट कहाँ से एंटर करती है मेन डोर से बालकनी इज इट कम्पल्सरी फॉर द लाइट टू कम फ्रॉम बालकनी no ma'am 